direction, similar to location, plays a crucial role in the fields of geography and geographic information systems, GIS. It entails determining the position of an object in relation to another object along a line. To establish direction, it is necessary to designate a reference point or benchmark from which measurements will be made. A commonly used benchmark for determining direction is oneself. When we use our own position as a reference point, it is known as egocentric direction. Examples of egocentric direction include describing something as to my left, behind me, or next to me. Landmark direction, as the name implies, utilizes a familiar landmark or geographic feature as a benchmark for determining direction. These landmarks can be a bustling intersection in a city, a prominent point of interest like the Colosseum in Rome, or other features such as mountain ranges or rivers. When providing directions, it is important to select a well-known landmark to ensure clarity. In the field of geography and GIS, three additional benchmarks are commonly used to define directions, true north, magnetic north, and grid north. True north is determined by the intersection of the Earth's rotation axis with its surface, specifically the north and south poles. These serve as geographic benchmarks for establishing direction. On the other hand, magnetic north and south refers to the point on the Earth's surface where the planet's magnetic fields converge. It is the direction toward which magnetic compasses point. It is important to note that magnetic north is located in northern Canada and does not align geographically with true north or the North Pole. Finally, grid north simply refers to the northward direction indicated by the grid lines of latitude and longitude on a map known as a graticule.